What's up, guys? Machete Panda here, and I am back. I have some exciting news. You may notice that the window here is slightly updated, and uh, that's because I got Farming Simulator 2022. I'm super excited. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to be playing it for the first time. Um, I've already tried to open it up and run it, and I had some issues, so let's give it another try. But, um, yeah, just going to hit play here. Let's play this game. So, oh, this looks good. This looks more crisp than uh, twenty nineteen. A wise man once said to forget how to dig the soil and the earth to figure it ourselves. That's Uncle Ben. That, that guy will be well, Maybe some ben. have. But a few of us still know. You gotta be willing to put in the time. Make the sacrifices. And the hard choices. The job's got its perks, don't get me wrong. The sweet smell of the morning dew. The way the warm sun and the cool breeze can dance across your skin. Don't think it's a game. Ah. The farm's got a way of sorting the wheat from the chaff. Nice. Just remember to keep your wits about you. Oh. She did not tend to her you farm fall. properly. You get back up again. Because this is more than just a job. It's a calling. Who else would choose to wake up early in the morning, tear up their hands working in the fields all day, and then spend the evening planning how they're going to do it all over again, better tomorrow? Wow. Those are some really good graphics right there. That is impressive. Day after day. That's nice. Season if these aren't post-rendered, that's really impressive. Year I really after hope year. This is a rendering. That's a calling that's never ending. Look at that. It stretches far forward and back from us as long as farmers have been tending this earth. You guys aren't getting the full and effect of how as long as such a thing these graphics are. Because of the downsizing on Tomorrow is secured by those willing to dirty their hands today. So when you feel alone out there in the field. Just remember, you're not. Ah, uh, he can't be Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben was childless. If you remember from our episode one, think about all Farm those that come before you. And all those that'll follow. Plant today. Harvest tomorrow. That was the intro. I liked it. Nice. Uh, there's all kinds of DLCs that came out. Um, pretty cool. So I could go right into the game, but I think I want to check out the downloadable content. One of the things I like to do with the farming simulators is, is download all the giant software content. Because you know it's good. May as well grab it. It's free. Um, if it is free, some of it's not, some of it is. Um, all right, so I'm going to search for Giants. See, this is all by Giant Software. Look at all this content. You might not have access to this all. I got the um, Platinum package, but you might have access because they put out quite a few components that are that are free, basically. Oh, they got a 7 and 90 in here. Nice. Nice. All right. I want to start downloading this content. Um, yeah. Can I right-click download, or do I have to actually go in and hit download? Oh, is it already in? Is it already in? I think I already have these. I think Giants by default installed, or do I have to click the little plus buttons up here in the corner? He 
know what? Honestly, this hall might already be in here. I, Because I don't see an install button. Use screenshots. Oh, install down here. All right. I'm slow. Ignore me. All right. Let's start installing. Install. Install. Anything Giants. We want to grab all that stuff. Giant Studio stuff. It's just like extra content. May as well grab it, you know? And then we'll just check out real quick other people's content. I don't know that I'm going to install any of other people's content. Sometimes I will if it depends on them. If they got a good rating, I'll install it because the rating's good. I'll go for it. But... Oh, that looks like a cool one. That's a cleaner package than the. 2019 Farming Simulator 2019 one. Just going through and hit install. I don't care what it is. It's on Giants. I'm going to take it. Giant Studio. Take it. Giant Studio. Taking it. Um, pending, pending, pending. All right. We're down here. Install. It installs things one at a time, which is fine. I mean, I guess it helps their servers that they do that. I've got a Fios connection, so I would actually prefer downloading multiple things. Oh, they added this? Oh, nice. That's great. I think I, I don't think this was done by Giants. I forget. I forget if 2019 this was done by Giants. But I did download the Big Bud in 2019 because it's a cool, cool tractor. Brute force tractor. Olden days, brute force tractors, you know. Oh, that's a nice cedar. Planter. Planter? Yeah, planter. Awesome, new. Oh, oh no. What happened? Oh, good. Oh, you have to buy this one. Oh, switch me over to the buy screen. You kidding me? Eight dollars? Holy jeez! It comes with some equipment. Eight dollars? Wow, that's nuts. Yeah, I'm not gonna be doing that. Not no, 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 no. no. All right. Install. I got the platinum package because I didn't want to have to pay for little bits and I don't want to get nickel to dime. I don't know what package includes everything. If there is even a package that includes everything, I hate getting nickel to dime. Just give me the ultimate package. I'll buy it and don't pester me ever again. But, uh, that's another buy. I'm just clicking on stuff. How much is this one that we just clicked on? This one's $13. It comes with a bunch of tractors though. It comes with a bunch of stuff, so it's not too bad, but. Oh, ugh. Install. Uh, install. Install. Uh oh, tractor here. Oh, good, it's another install. I see the tractors, I'm like, this is gonna be a buy, isn't it? Look at this old, this is an old timey tractor. Wow. I wish they had some history, like what year the tractor was made and all that stuff. That would be kind of cool. Um, that's another. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted with taking a look. We're just, we're just putting whatever we can put on. Don't be distracted, Scott. Don't be distracted. Stall. There we go. Stall. There we go. I already got that pack. So platinum came with something. <laughs> nice, I guess. Is there like an ultimate plat pla platinum so I can pull up these other packages? 
without having to deal with this whole buy stuff. That's, I, I think that was in the last one too, that one. All right, hang in there guys. We're almost done. What's this? It's another buy. Give me a break. Oh, those buys. <clears throat> All right, nice. And the ones that are buys, honestly, somebody's probably making one for free, but it's probably not going to be as good as one from Giant Studio, or even one that you have to purchase in the first place. So, but hey. All right. So once I get done with this, it's going to ask me to restart. Oh, thank God, this one. I thought they're going to try try and charge me for this one too. Oh. Oh, it's part of precision farming. All right, I might. I was not a fan of precision farming. Because I mean like, yes, this is a simulator and yes, precision farming made it more realistic. But at the same time, it's also a game and precision farming was just a lot of work. A lot more work than I was anticipating. So, you know, it's a simulator, but hey, it's also a game guys, so. But it's there for people who want to get that crazy. So I guess that's good for them. Maybe I'll keep it on. Oh, that's a, that was another package. It's free. This package is free. Why is why does it why is it taking me out here to get this package? Weird. I'm just gonna grab this package real quick. I don't know what any of this means. I gotta put my address in. I'm sorry, it's just asking for a bunch of information. I know you guys can't see the screen. Um, buy now, it's free. You receive an email with an activation key and a link where you can download the product. Okay, so I guess we'll wait for that. Um, in the meantime, let's get back to this. And let's keep grabbing this stuff. The AGI pack looks really cool. Um, so there's a bunch of, what? Wait, what was that? So there was a bunch of um, different silos in the AGI pack. So um, that is always a bonus because there were not enough silos in 2019, even the ones that Giant put out afterward, there was just, there were enough silo options. Like you, there was, there was no, um, you couldn't do uh, silage. You couldn't ferment inside of a silo. There, they didn't have those silo types, um, tall skinny silos. So you had to download a, download from somebody else. Oh, this is another buy pack. Oh. Give me a break, Giants. What are you doing to me? All these buy packs. Yeah, I'll install that one too. And then this is another buy pack. Oh, give me a break. All right. Um, I have not gotten an email from them yet for the AG pack. And I don't think I have the patience to wait because I'm kind of impatient. I kind of want to get started on this. Oh, there it goes. All right, give me a second here. Give me a second here. 
Let's just check my stream real quick. All right, so my stream's still showing the game, which is good. I'm just gonna download this pack for Microsoft Windows. I'm gonna drop it into, oh, it's an installer. Oh no, it's gonna require me to shut that. Almost 100% it's gonna require me to shut down the game. Almost 100%. All right, we're just gonna put that screen up. So you've got the Machete Panda. And um, I'm just gonna run this installer and I'll bet you it's gonna say, please shut down your game. And we'll have to shut down the game. Please enter your farming simulator activation key. Installation successful. That was simple. I'm gonna restart anyways, just so that, um, yeah, I'm just gonna quit and restart anyway. We'll be back up in a second. Give me a second, guys. Give me a second here. All right, cool. And play again. I should have the pumps and hoses DLC. I hope I have the pumps and hoses DLC. Maybe you have to install those manually. All right, so we're back up. Um, get you back over there. All right, real quick, I just want to look at the other downloadable content, like the trucks and stuff like that. Oh, that's an old time truck, wow. Um, yeah, so what we want are the, let's, oh, crossplay. So crossplay, I guess, uh, presumably, it means that you can, um, it can be used on the, uh, the PlayStation. You can be seen on the PlayStation or on the PC. Um, how many stars? This has almost five stars. So you want four and a half stars. A four star is no good. Um, I hate to say it, but the four star doesn't cut it because usually there's something wrong for it to have four stars. So like your four stars, it's really great. Four stars should be good. What are you talking about? Trust me, there's usually something wrong with how it functions. I think we're gonna take this, I'm gonna add this lizard to the pack. I'm gonna add this guy. And then we're going to add Man, these. I'd love to add one of these old timey ones, but I just have a feeling that I've added an old timey one before and it just took forever to get started. So you just sit there in it waiting for it to start. Not fun. Uh, I like that. Yeah, we'll take that one too. All right, that should be good. And what I have for all of technology. Oh, interesting. I don't know how to use any of this stuff, so I'm not gonna click on any of it. Um, forestry equipment, what do we got? Oh, saw, nice. Oh, wow, that's new. I wonder who made that, that's kind of cool. Oh, we have saw mills, nice. Some nice saw mills, that's good. I like that the saw mills are in with the saw, with the uh, forestry section. Light <laughs> swords, come on. All right. <laughs> um, all right. Wheel loaders. Oh, there was a wheel loader I loved, and it's not in here. Hopefully, it's already in here in the game. There was a bucket I loved. There's just an absolutely gigantic bucket for the wheel loader. Um, wheel loader attachments. Where was that? Guys, do you see it? Guys, do you see it? I don't see it. It's probably under real loaders, and they don't have that bucket yet. It was a great bucket, though. These all look interesting, but I don't want to do any of these maps yet. I haven't even I haven't even gotten in the game. Let's get in the game. Let's find out. Let's find out what this is. Empty slot. Let's park the first empty slot. Let's go with new farmer. New farmer. Here we go, guys. Let's get this going. As long as I don't bump it. It's a cheap webcam. I'm sorry, guys. Let's continue. We're going to do Elm Creek because that's the first map that it's showing us. It looks like there's some other maps here, though. Yeah, we're going to stick with Elm, Elm Creek. <clears throat> it looks more American-esque. 
And one of the things that I want to figure out where, what the icon looks like so I can decide whether I want to take it, this one. I might want to take this off. We're about to find out. Let's get started. This should take me through a tutorial. And I've done the tutorials already. I'm sure the controls are still the same, but I think I'm going to do the tutorial anyway with you guys. So that way you can see you know, what this tutorial is like. So come on, load. People are waiting, load. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. 65% good. Yeah, you're taking your time, aren't you? I'm so there's like supposed to be a bunch of new crops that we can plant. Um, the seasons, it works completely different from 2019 from the videos I've seen. Um, it's like uh, each day is a month in the year. So um, it's really it's really tough to judge. So I, what I used to do is just do one gigantic field of like soybeans or something like that. And that'd be my money making field. And then I'd tool around with other things. But um, with this, you really got to manage, you know, what time crops are coming in at what points. So, whoa, wow. They really increased the customization. What the? I don't know. I don't look like any of these guys. And these are very soft. I don't think I have soft pieces. I think these are female ones. Can I change like his jaw so it looks more like... Uh, I can go with it. <laughs> uh... What kind of hairstyle do I want? Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> um, I really don't know what hairstyle to go with. Uh, yeah, yikes. I'll go with this one. How do I change the color? Uh, let's stick with that. There you go. Mustache. There you go. Um. Yeah. Where's the uh branded case? Where's the classic? It's the John Deere. Why does it have to be a onesie a jumpsuit? Can it be something like this? Uh, all right. Let's stick with that. Oh. Oh, hold on. Can I change stuff around if I... Oh, that's not cool. There we go. <laughs> he's confused. It's going to be weird, though, if he's, if it's cold out. Like, hey, why, why is it cold out and he's dressed like that? This could work. With the John D what I can't put an overcoat on him oh is that a real hoodie I think that's raised that would be cool if that's a real hoodie with raised text I'm gonna look for that later if like they actually sell it you know um, I really have no clue what I'm doing here uh, I wear my work jeans are just blue jeans. Um, whoops, I clicked off the screen. Ah, those are pretty classic ones. I've got those. Yeah, that looks good. That will be good for winter too, so it's really gonna match match up. <laughs> the JD hat. It doesn't work with the uh Oh, attitude. I like it. I like it. Attitude. That's no, more like cattle rancher kind of guy. Considering how much thought they put into this, I'm pretty sure we can like probably change it later, you know? 
Uh, that that looks more farmer esque. And glasses. That's more my style. See, this is more my style, this one, but I think I'm going to go with this one because I think it looks better on this guy. I did hit confirm, didn't I? Yeah, I did. It's thinking. It's thinking. Let it think. All right. Um, what do we have here? We just installed the precision farming mod. This mod adds more, more realism as effect of real farming in the farm simulator. We got some new pages to help and you to explain everything. Yeah, they needed that. So it was a it was just such a pain. It just was not fun. Uh, the mod adds an overview map, which is dedicated to new, more detailed information about the soil at specific spots in the map. This map can be accessed via the tab next to the world map menu. Co-founded by the European Union? Drip seeding, agro feed, innovators, yada, 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 yada. I guess I don't get it. Was precision... Was the technology for precision farmer farming co-founded by the EU or was the add-on? Like, did they help fund the, to make the add-on to help their students or something? I don't know. All right. Um, yeah, I don't want to see it because I just saw it. If you'd like to start a guide tour later, start a new career in Elm Creek or Hot and you'll be asked again. Wait, what? Did I miss the guided tour? Guys, I think I missed the guided tour. I want the guided tour. I'm sorry, guys. I want the guided tour. So, let's quit the game. I'm going to go back in. I'm going to do the guided tour. And I think I'm going to turn off precision farming. I'm highly intimidated that it's going to ruin my experience. Because I think it adds a level of nuance that I don't care about. Like, it doesn't contribute to my enjoyment of the game. Um, though other people may enjoy that much management. So, got to wait for it to load again, once again. Oh, it's taking so long. I'm going to cut all this out in the recording. This is crazy. Start. Oh, he's still here. That looks great. Would you like to start a short guided tour? Yes. To your left at the hedge of your at the edge of your field is a big green harvester. Head over there and touch the exclamation marker icon next to it. In the lower left is your map. The large blue diamond icon indicates where the exclamation marker is. Yeah, it's a large blue diamond icon. Whoa. Oh my god, do I need to upgrade my PC or something? I'm getting nasty hesitation. Alright, it seems to have gone. All right, I'm sorry about that, guys. This is one of the fields you own from the very start. Its wheat has conveniently grown to a stage where you can harvest it. Time for you to enter this combine harvester and get started. Okay. Let's get in. Okay, attach the harvester head that's sitting right in front of you. The help panel in the front left corner always shows you functionalities that are currently available. The help panel on the top left always shows you. Oh, there it is. Uh, good, now unfold. X button unfolds it. Nice, nice. Now you're all set to harvest. Drive forward into the wheat. You can either 
adjust your vehicle's speed manually or use a speed control to maintain a consistent speed. The maximum speed you can drive is automatically determined by the vehicle and attached to your unit. Okay, sounds good. Um, so, I wonder if they fixed this, but the, uh, the front controls for the header in real life, they can actually, you know, make a significant difference for what you're harvesting. Oh, and that's how far we have to go. Oh my gosh, it is laggy. I don't know if it's because I'm recording at the same time or what, but this is a problem. So far, so good. Usually, however, you have to do, you have a lot to do, so it makes sense to hire helpers. Whenever a job can be executed by a helper, it will indicate the top left panel. Hire a helper to take care of the rest of the field. Oh, okay. H. The helper will now take care of the rest of the field. Press E to exit. Nice. Fantastic. Oh, it wants me to go over here now. Oh, jeez. Did you see those pros? I am getting lag. I do not know if it's it's my right speed or if it's my graphics card. I don't think it's my right speed because I've got a nice uh, nice M2 in there. Uh, fields that have been harvested need to be cultivated before they can be sown anew. This field has been harvested recently and now needs somebody to cultivate it. Enter the tractor and attach the cultivator that is placed behind it. I presume I will also have to attach the uh, the cultivator, but also the uh, the weight. The cultivator is V lower tool. Drive forward and V lower tool. Wait, why didn't the tool lower? Oh, I'm on the wrong tool. They just told me to pay attention to what tool I'm on, and I'm... There we go. All right. Yeah. Great. All right, H. Let's switch to one of the other tractors using the switch feature. You can quickly cycle through all of your vehicles. Do this until you reach the tractor with the next exclamation mark right beside it tab. Oh, it was the very next tractor. Look at that. Okay, now what? Oh. Fields that have been cultivated are ready to be sewn. For this, you need to use sewing machine. Get back in the tractor and attach the sewing machine that's placed behind it. This sewing machine you just attached is already filled with seeds. Once you run out, you will have to refill it with seed bag bought from the shop. Time to sow. Since it's August, the only crop that can be sown at this time of year is canola. Change the seed type visible in the lower right of the screen three times until you have canola selected. The canola icon is like a little yellow flower. Then turn on and lower the sewing machine. Okay on it so hit Y oh it's down there in the corner um, a little yellow flower there we go move forward uh, unfold cedar I guess uh, V to lower B to turn on Yeah, there we go. Now we're playing canola. Nice, you've got the hang of that. You can continue later if you want or hire another helper for the job. As you can see, it is important to know what plants can be sown each season. Consult the crop calendar in the menu anytime to get an overview. All right, now switch to the next tractor with an exclamation mark next to it. Okay, well, I'm going to let this guy go to work, so I'm going to hit H for helper. And then I'm going to hit tab. Oh, look at this. 
that's not attached. Do we have to walk up to this thing? As soon as the harvester's tank is full, or even before that, you can unload its contents into the trailer. Hop on the tractor and attach the trailer to it. All right, let's do this. Attach the trailer to next drive to the harvester and left inside and open it. Uh, open the cover your trailer. The pipe will start extending and if you're in the correct position, the wheel will start pouring out automatically. And opens and closes. Wow, that thing is loud. And opens the cover. And um, so I can't, I can't do this when he's like, I can't do this while he's there. Because what's going to happen is I'm going to run over the crop and crush all the crop. So I have to wait till he's on this side. There we go. All right. So I got to wait for him to come back. So while we wait for him to come back, what's the storyline, guys? I mean, what's it going to be? I think a good storyline. Yeah, I don't know. How did we end up with this with this uh, farm? How did we end up with this equipment? Um, type in the comments, please. Hit like and subscribe. Please hit like and subscribe. It really helps helps me with growing this channel. You can see the subscriber numbers right now. It's dire. It's dire. I mean, I just started this channel. What am I expecting? But you know, things are uh, things are lightweight right now. All right, the helper is confused. He doesn't know where he's going. All right. Nice, fill it up. Great. Wheat is being dumped in your trailer. Wait until it's done and then drive your tractor with the trailer to the next spot. Indicate on the map. Touch the exclamation mark there. Okay, well, you just like messed me up because now he's leaving me. And I need him to stay in the tractor because he needs to extend the thingy. All right. Oh, that's that idling is really good. So I don't remember the idling like that in 2019. I don't remember it being that clear. Like there was idling, but it wasn't like that. Like you know, that's legit. All right, we should park the harvester. Should we park the harvester? I'm gonna just gonna park the harvester. And I'm gonna park it right here. Next to its uh oh, oh, oh. hey 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 careful there. Alright now we're gonna find out where it wants us to go. So I see the question mark down in the map there, down in the lower corner. So let's get going over there. Let's see what's up. I still don't know why I'm getting hesitation. I'm going to have to upgrade something, I think. I'm running a really, really old graphics card, and I wonder if that's what's doing it. I mean, things lasted for a long time. So it's like seven years old. It was high-end, very high-end, and it paid itself off if it's lasted this long. I think it paid itself off a couple years ago by just going with high, super high-end. I can see the uh, beam guiding us to the next spot. Oh, I like the highway here. This really feels like uh, the U.S. So 2019 had a map, and it did not really feel like the U.S. It didn't feel like anywhere, really. Um, I mean, I think I got several comments about that. 
several people. It was this map actually feels like they went on Google Maps and pulled pulled uh, a Google Map topography off. I don't know which side to go on to get over there. So I'm just gonna go this way and hope that I can get over there. That if something's blocking my way, at least like there's a bridge or something, I don't know. Grow together, harvest together. Is that anything like build back better? Hope not. Alright, let's see if uh, what we've harvested from one field is actually going to increase uh, the amount of money we have. So. Man, this is a long ways away. Jeez. Are these our fields too? I wonder if the cars have gotten smarter. Like, the AI was not smart on the cars before. Oh, this is a cell point. All right. Um, what? Oh, oh, I recognize this. This is more... Uh, this unloading station, one of the places on the map where you can sell your harvest. You can check the current prices of all products by opening the menu and going to the prices screen. Move the tractor so the tractor is located right over the pit. As soon as the unloading symbol appears at the bottom of the screen, you can unload the wheat and sell it. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just get this right. Oh my gosh, ah, good gosh. How much money are you gonna make? Big money. Big money, come on. Hey, we made it over 100,000. We got back over 100, we started with 100,000, we got back over 100,000, that's great. Uh, let's drive to the shop where your final exclamation mark is located. But oh, did you hear the thumping? I don't remember that before. All right, just, they want me to close the cover on this thing for some reason. I mean, it's empty. Really should close the cover with those like food in it. So harvest technically. I really hope I'm going the right way. Let me just check. Where's my map? There I am. Where's the next exclamation point? Oh, over here. Yeah, I'm going the right way. I just take here, bang out a left, and I just keep going down the road. I'm there. All right. Look how I pulled over to the side of the road for everybody so they could get by. That's the matter. All right, coming up to a stop sign. We've got to stop. Just because we're in a track. Got to look both ways, right? All right, let's go. Head check. Got to do your head checks as you're pulling out in the traffic. Keep checking. Can't trust anybody. Only trust yourself. Any moment someone could pull out in front of you, do anything crazy. What fields do we own? I want to check that, but I also want to get to this destination that we're supposed to get to. So. It looks nice, I'll tell you. This map looks real nice. The graphics look real nice. I need to figure out why my computer keeps convulsing. I don't know if it's related to the fact that I'm recording this while streaming. Oh, we have an AI worker that completed. H has completed the task. I don't know if that was the plow guy or if that was the seeding guy. How's the horn? I can't even hear the horn. Uh-oh, is it gonna crash?
I think it's going to crash. Oh, good. Oof. Uh, oh, there's a co-pilot seat. That's funny. Some old-timey buttons and not. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're not paying attention. Wow, whoa, that's a close one. Whoa. This. Why is there a black van following me? I'm highly suspicious of black vans following me. I think he's spying on me. And if he is, it's the absolute worst spy job in the history of the world. All right. Um, I hope they don't make you buy anything at the shop because I don't want to spend money. I have so little. I only have a under K, which sounds like a lot, except that in farming, it's not. You might be able to buy seeds with that. continue the tutorial you have to spend more money okay that's no fun oh dear see those deer whoa that was awesome see those deer that was awesome that was absolutely awesome uh you may you kill my controls when you do that this is where you can sell your vehicles and tools and buy new equipment. You can either visit the shop in person by activating the shopping symbol in front of the trigger or trigger it anywhere by pressing the button shown below. P. And that's exactly what it was. And that's the end of this tour. This is the help menu for more in-depth information. Good luck and have fun in the world of farming. That was pleasant. All right, um, well, I, like I said, I don't want to buy anything at this store just yet. I really need to get my head around what's available on the farm, all that. Um, so a good story for this farm. I think a good story, I like, I like the Uncle Ben story. We're going to stick to that. So Uncle Ben passed away, had no kids. Um, we, were, we were his... Uh, his favorite nephew and as his favorite nephew um he left the farm to us he left all this equipment he left his farm it's a very small farm he's getting elderly in his age he sold off a lot of land and our objective is to get back this land and we'll call the game complete when we're able to harvest from one field 200,000 liters of a grain or fruit or, or something. And um, I don't know that there's any fields that are going to yield in one shot 100,000 liters. So we're going to have to combine fields. Um, that's what we're, I, I'm pretty confident that's what we're going to have to do is combine fields. So um, right away, I kind of feel like, like, look at all this hay laying out here over here. Look at all the hay. I kind of feel like I want to go ahead and grab, grab a, a baler. Oh, look at that. I didn't know I had a car. And now I'm back to all of the components that I used to have in the first place. All right. Yeah. I want to grab a baler, guys. I'm really sorry. I just don't. I just. We're so poor right now. I just have to grab that hay. I don't want to waste it. I am going to park this with the uh, farming implement on it. And the reason... Oh, jeez. That's an open pit. I thought it was a closed pit. Why would you not close the pit before... Oh, all right. So this is an open pit. Can I move it around? I can't move it around. All right. All right. Anyway... Um, before I go and pick up that baler, I want to get this cedar going. I want to get start, get it started. 
And it might be a mistake, but I kind of feel like... Let's just check this thing. What are we in? We can do... We can plant canola. Next month, we can plant wheat and barley. And then we can't plant anything for a long time. So when can we harvest the canola? Um, we can harvest the canola very next month. We can harvest the canola very next month. Uh, same with the wheat and barley the very next month. Oh, no, wait. The wheat and barley we can't harvest until July? That's nasty. What about my favorite soybeans? Oh, soybeans have a pretty tight. That's pretty tight. Oh, potatoes. Ugh. Sorghum's a new one for me. I have not seen sorghum. Grass can be done all year. That's fantastic. Little seed radishes is something totally different. Olives, grapes. Wow. Hmm. Cool. Wow. I wonder if there's any grape fields already planted, you know? All right, so we're in August. We could plant popular right now. I'm not going to um, because it's a pain in the neck crop. But um, we literally can't plant anything else, though. We have to wait until because this is a harvesting time. So that's useful to know. So with the barley, we might plant the barley next because the barley is ready first. So at least we'll have something to pull out of the ground um, while we wait for all this to grow. Because it doesn't, it looks like if we don't plant the wheat, the next planting is cotton. We, we don't have any cotton machines. So we really got to wait till March. So we're going to have a slow winter. Hopefully we can get some grass going. And if we get a baler, that's even better. So I am going to plant more of the canola because these fields are sitting here doing nothing otherwise. And that's not good. We need them doing stuff. All right. Um, and then H and let him get to work. I am going to get start this tractor up. And we are going to go and get a baler at the shop. All right. Maybe we'll get a mower too. Yeah. Yeah. We can mow some of this grass that's on the edge of the fields here. And then we can bale some grass too. If we have the money for a mower. The baler is going to be really expensive. I actually don't know. I don't remember if the balers were really expensive in 2019. So, real life balers are really exp very expensive. Good gosh, this shop is far away. And look at this field. Look at these two fields. You see those two fields off in the distance over there? If you could buy those two fields, that'd be nice. Clever motors. All right. Um, I just realized there's no um, fun. What? What is that? That's awesome. That's so cool. All right. Um, See, I'm getting distracted now. Uh, vehicles. There's additional stuff in here. You can buy packs. What is this? Oh, these are. That's what I own. All right, and those are the mods. All right. Um. Oh, this is stuff that's on sale. <gasps> oh. Oh, so cool. It's too bad we're not ready for any of it. So this is 4.4 meters. 
this is 6.2 meters. And, we, and I was talking about getting a mower. Where's the balers? There it is. Right, my mouse is over. I'm not looking at my mouse. All right, so this produces 20 centimeters wide, 25, 25. It's all expensive. This one's super thin, but it's also cheap. 12 kilometers per hour. This produces round ones. I want a square one. Because a square one just keeps pushing them out and pumping them out and pumping them out, you know? Where are the square ones? This is the first square one. And of course, the ones that I want are super expensive. What's this one? This is a square one too, but it does super small bales. I may have to do that in the meantime. The super small bales. And I can lift them up. It's too late. I bought it. Oh, well. I'll deal with it. All right, what's this one? Yeah, and we'll take one of these to keep us going, you know? Um, that should hook up, but it's not gonna run. The uh, lawnmower, because there's no uh, power PTO on the front. What's that thing? Whoa, wait, what's that? What was that? Oh, these are, that's a, uh, there's um, Easter eggs. Uh, and you collect the Easter eggs and you get a certain number of points. Um, uh, okay, I, all right, I can't collect that Easter egg yet. Can't collect that Easter egg yet. Can I go inside? All right. Um, I'm going to need like a forklift or something to collect that Easter egg. All right. I forgot about that. So there's Easter eggs in here now, which is very cool. Um, I don't even know if this thing can lift that. Oh no. You know what I did? I wasn't paying attention. This is not, uh, this is for a gathering piece of equipment. This would be the one that I need. Harvester headers, I'm not paying attention. Oh, what a waste of money. That hurts. That physically hurts. Oh my god, that physically hurts. Ugh. All right, I should be able to attach this thing to the front. However, it will not operate. So I can transport it around at least. Oh no. Oh, I can't believe I wasted my money. That's um that's kind of suckish. All right, we're going to get back to the field. We'll start bailing this stuff. We'll put the bales into our uh, our little 
trailer there and um, we'll figure out where they're supposed to be sold. I presume they're supposed to be sold at like the barn, probably, wherever the barn is. If they even have the barn, they might they might not have it in this version. So. All right, um, so first thing first, we do not need this grass cutter just yet. We'll need it later, but not now. And for now, um, he needs to uh, X unfold baler V lower the pickup instrument and B turn it on. And with that said, we should start producing bales of hay. Very tiny bales of hay. But um, we really don't have the money for a forklift to put them inside of a, the back of a hay. Whoa, 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 ho, ho. I just want to pick up that little piece over there that I left behind. Whoa. All right, so wheel return is really slow. So I need to change that. All right, we'll skip a row. So there are these balers growing up and the farm would have these balers that would, they do exactly like this, but then they would shoot them up into the air and into a trailer that you're dragging behind. Um, it was pretty cool, pretty cool to see. So, and in the summer, he would hire uh, kids from uh, high school to stand in the back and properly stack them so that it's all nice and neat and can fit the most number of uh, bales of hay. So, we'd stand back there and catch it and then uh, drop it in. Oh, that's painful. I didn't get all that. And I had such a hard time turning around last time. I'm not going to do it this time. Bales of hay. Those horses will love this. Whoever we sell this to, their horses will love it. I wonder what other instruments and implements we have. So we own these three fields. Do we own any other fields anywhere? That's the question. Did Uncle Ben sell all of his fields? Like, there's none left? You know, he's just an elderly old man that just didn't have the time or the energy to keep up with all of those fields that he used to have. And now we've got it all. We've got to restore his memory by buying all those fields back. And more importantly, getting his lifelong dream of in one shot, one field, 200,000 liters of a product. Whether the product is wheat or whether the product is soy, whatever the product. That's what he wants to get out of the, out of one field. So we could probably do that relatively easy. Well, it's relatively easy on corn. Corn produces quite a bit. So. Wow. Well, I may have to stop soon. Um, yeah, I may have to stop soon. I want to finish this, though. 
and then I'll go offline and I'll figure out if um, if I am losing uh, my frame rates because of the hard drive writing to the hard drive because of the um, graphics card old. Turn off Baylor. Can I get this last piece out? It doesn't say too heavy, right? Like, I guess I can't get that last piece out. Um, probably when I do the, uh, Probably when I do the grass, it'll force it out. That's what'll happen. And then detach. And then head back over to... fill this thing up and let's sell these bales let's make some money may as well I mean we're like deathly poor it's mostly my fault for buying the wrong piece of equipment and not paying attention I accept that responsibility but we're in dire straits here Where can I throw this? Yeah. Oh, perfect. Ah. Uh. Just like a lazy kid. I don't want to deal with this. Uh. I don't want to deal with this. Meh. Alright, so bales aren't too heavy, but they're heavy enough that you can't run at full tilt like I am with a bale in your hand. Where are the crickets? It's only That actually fall out. That would be really lame if it did. Oh, I can actually push these other bales around with one bit. Oh, nice. That makes life a little easier to be able to push them around with another bale. Just push two bales up against there. Two bales side by side. over here and then we got to get the um, yeah the subsoiler it's not subsoil we have to till the ground so. gosh those crows are just Crazy. Uh oh. I'm feeling tired. That's not good. This is 
still got a lot to do. Is that everything? Tell me if that's... Is that all of the bales? I think that's all the bales. Do you see any more bales from above? I do not see any more bales. Okay, who takes hay? That's the question. Who takes hay? Um... I have no I'm sorry. I have nothing in storage. Buying. Oh, oh, okay. Um, where's wheat? I mean hay. No, it's straw. It's straw I have. The animal dealer. Let's can we mark that. Tag place. Animal dealer. Um, wow, the animal dealer is way on the other side of the world. Wait, where's the animal dealer? Oh, it's up here. Okay, that's fine. Animal dealer will love this hay. Jeez, that guy's whipping along. Going 39. How fast is the speed limit of this road? We're going to sell this. I'm going to stop here. Um, we still have to plow the other field down there. Um, and uh, yeah, I might return this tractor offline. But um, yeah, this has been cool. I mean, and the jerkiness has gone away. I don't know why it was jerky at the start, but it's basically gone away. So my old seven year old graphics card is still handling this, all right? I actually wonder what the graphics settings are on by default. Um, what's this? I say game. I don't want to call. I want to call it Machete Panda. That way, I know which one I'm streaming. What I really wanted to know was graphics. I don't see graphics here. I don't see graphics. Oh, contracts. Harvesting. Harvest the oat in field 23. Hmm. All right. That pays 1,224. Interesting. Let's see how much we get for this hay. Strong. And um, we'll decide if we want to do that. I'm sorry about my yawning. I'm just pretty gosh darn. Oh, it just, oh. Wow, 1,000, that's 2,000 euros? That's great. That was not much. That that seems off. That does not seem that hey. How many bales did we have? Get like fifteen dollars a bale. I don't know. That doesn't seem am I going the wrong way? I'm going the right way. That doesn't seem right. Alright guys, I'm going to stop it there. Thank you so much for joining me. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe. Um, and uh, I'm going to park this tractor back at the farm. 
so when we pick back up you'll see this at the farm and um yeah i'll we'll talk then until next time